Hey, this is Wookie from Mandala Studios. Welcome to the workshop. In this video, we're going to take you through making a latex valve mask, starting with the casting. So this is from an existing mold we already have, so you're not going to say any sculpting today. But to start with, we just grab the mold and we rinse it out. This is to allow any surface air that's trapped in the pores of the plaster to be pushed out by the water. So when the latex dwells in the mold, it doesn't get any air balls trapped from the plaster itself. So you tip it out, leave it to dry for a few minutes, then just pour in a little bit of latex. And we're going to swirl that around, trying to get it into the teeth, particularly in this mask, and just catching the details, just roll it around a little bit, catch the surface. And then put it down, nice and level, poke it into the teeth a bit more, trying to make sure we don't get any air bubbles in the tips of the teeth. Spoiler, we did. Then you top it up with latex, leave it nice and level, make it all the way full, then you just leave it to dry for an hour, or dwell for an hour, sorry. Tip it out into the bucket, roll it around a little bit, making sure it goes into the teeth, make sure we get the last bits out. Then we put it in the drying box, upside down, and we leave it in there to dry for a bit. We leave that overnight, and we come back. Pop it out the frying box onto the side, grab a talc on a brush, brush it inside, just to stop the latex sticking to itself when we pull it out of the mould. Then you just pull it out nice and carefully, rip the bits around the edges, use a pair of scissors if it gets a bit too tough there. Pull it out. And there you go, one latex wolf face. Now we're going to mount it onto the mask, the mask onto the balaclava as we do for this type of mask. So first of all you stretch the balaclava you've got over a polystyrene head, making it nice and even all the way around. Then just brush latex into the cotton where the wolf's face is going to sit. latex and brush it on the inside of the mask around the edge. Leave that for a little bit to come touch dry, then half invert the mask, position the eyes and nose and the mouth, then peel the edge back to touch down onto the cotton. At this point we made the uh, hood for hood so you can see the markings, then we come back and we do the same process again, sticking the ears on where we want them for this mask. We also stuck a tooth repair on. You just reposition them as you need to. So we started off with the base colours there, but you didn't see because we lost the footage. But it's just paint some uh, portrait paint mixed with a bit of sienna, mixed with some prosade, and brush that over the areas you want bit of brown around the edges where the hair is going to go, then dry brush it by adding a bit of buff titanium into the mixture, just to touch the highlights onto the surface, don't have to be too accurate about it. Then we're going to mix up some ink and just paint it over. This is sepia with some alcohol, and just paint over the whole surface of the mask with a soft brush. Then once you've brushed that over the whole surface, just dab it off with a paper towel. Just rub it as much as you want, you add a little bit of alcohol to the towel if you need to. And that'll just brush it off the top surfaces, then go back into the ears. And repeat the process wherever you need. 
taken too much off, just go back over. Then we go back in, we're going to start painting in the details. So let's just mix up some more acrylic paint with a touch of Prosade. Uh, buff Titanium first, then we're going to go in with Buff Titanium White for the details on the teeth. You can see we've already painted in the back of the mouth. And just gently work around. Not much to it really. paint depending on the opacity of the paint you're using. dry very much when I'm doing this sort of work, I tend to leave it to dry, but in this case I was trying to get it done in one go for the video. We don't need to be too careful with the edges with this, because we're going to go over it with an airbrush again later. We add the prosade to the paint, makes it flexible and sticky, so it shouldn't crack off. There you go. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.